All right, hello all. Uh, it's that time again for uh, more uh, blinking cursor madness in Arch Linux, and this time it's a viewer request video for uh, partitioning a hard drive in, for Arch Linux install and having the swap file in the middle of the partition. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do that <laughs> in this video. So I use been using FDisk. Um, if I have to install or reinstall or whatever, uh, instead of CF disk, um, I'm not sure if it's fixed, but CF disk wasn't uh, aligning the partitions properly for a solid state drive. If you're using it just a mechanical hard drive, it should be fine, but F disk is pretty straightforward to use. And you probably want to practice this a few times inside a virtual machine just to get things down. So first command to get set up your uh, partitions is uh, we'll just do an F disk and a dash small L okay, and zoom in so you can see what I type there and just press enter and I only have one allocated hard drive in virtual box here but the rest is the Arch Linux uh, ISO stuff so I'll clear the screen and We'll just do an F disk dash L slash device SDA. It's the only one there. And you can see a clearer picture, I guess. So again, F disk. And we'll leave out the dash L and then DEV SDA. Okay. And it's, if you're not sure, just type M for help. And this will, it, it's already created a new DOS disk label and with the identifier. Um, but there's no partition table yet. So we're just going to create a new partition. And to do that, you just type N, obviously, for new. And primary, if you're going to have more than four partitions, uh, you might want to use extended. But for this purpose, we're going to have the maximum of three. So primary, just press Enter for default. Partition one for de default. First sector, we'll leave it at 2048. And the second sector, um, say if you want that as root, I'm going to put uh, plus 3G or 3 gigabytes since I only have 8 gigabytes allocated. All right. And just press enter. Obviously, it'd be a lot larger on a whatever drive you're using. And again, we'll type new. Uh, primary again. So you just press enter on defaults. Default uh, partition number two. Uh, leave the first sector, and this will be our swap. I'm just going to allocate one gig, so plus one G. Press enter. The only thing different here is you have to type T for type, and default number is two. And it said you want to get a list of partition types. I'll just press L or capital L, and you see them here. And what we need is the Linux uh, swap, so that's 82. So just type 82, and we're done. For the part the swamp partition finally and one more time and uh we'll use the rest of the free space so partition three and just keep pressing enter so we're back to the help and just type w to write and it spits us back out to the arch linux iso command prompt so now all we have to do is uh create the file system so control l clear screen and uh the F disk if you want uh, for reference F disk dash list slash slash DEV SDA and you can see the partition layout there so partition one MKFS dot extension four slash DEV SDA one and we'll create uh, extension four file system which will be probably which will be the root system a root uh, file system or root uh, partition sorry and I'll just do the same thing but SDA 3 which will be your home okay and finally MK SWAP device SDA 2 then we turn that on swap on one word same thing SDA Two. And if you want f dash list 
you'll see it's the same thing. Okay, so now we'll mark, mount the partitions. Uh, the swap is already ready to go, so we'll just, just have to deal with SDA1 and SDA2. So uh, mount slash DEV SDA1 to slash MNT. That'll be our root partition. Then we'll make a directory so we can have our home directory in um, mount MNT slash home. So now we just mount the third partition, SDA3 to slash MNT slash home. And if you LS slash MNT, you'll see home and lost and found. And that's it. From there, you just uh, install Arch Linux. And I, I try to keep that simple. So it's a pack strap. Uh, I don't leave any, put any arguments except for just tell it to go to MNT mount and base. I'll just hit the base just to keep this simple for the demonstration. So I'll let this uh, do its thing, download, and I'll be back when Arch Linux is downloaded and installed. Alright, so we're back and uh, Arch Linux has been installed onto the mounted partition. So we'll just generate our file system table with a GEN FS tab. And I'm just going to use the basic DOS type of uh, labeling and stuff, really basic device labeling. So GEN FS tab slash MNT, two arrows out to our mounted Etsy FS tab. I'll just arrow key up one and delete up to the MNT FS, MNT Etsy FS tab and type CAT and you can see the partition layout there. Okay, so we'll just arch CH root to MNT. And we'll just do the usual stuff, password, and uh, I'm going to keep this as, as uh, simple as I can because it's only, as I said, only a demonstration. Okay, so I'll log in. Uh, is there roots? And get an idea, 3-M. You see the swap is there. And uh, to get an idea, you can do a DF-H. And you can see uh, the partitions, or you can see one... Uh, the individual ones slash D E V S D A one, and that's where Arch Linux is installed. You see, it's used 823 megabytes. If I do S D A three, that's our home partition, as it's labeled there, as you see, and it's only eight megabytes being used. All right, so that is pretty much it uh, for partitioning and setting up a swap file, uh, theoretically in the middle of the of the partition and. Uh, I hope that helps anybody out that's watching it. And the viewer that asked, I hope this is what they need to, to get a swap partition. And that should do it for this one. So thank you very much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.